welcome back guys so today i am going to start data driven framework right and as a part of this framework i will talk about what are the access method we need to know and uh, what are the type of applications we should go for data driven framework right because any framework when we start for a company project we should know why we are going to start the particular framework and the framework should be based on the applications it should not be based on what you know right it should be based on the complexity of the applications it should be based on the type of applications it should be based on the business scenario of the applications on the basis of that we should decide which framework we should go for so let's say we are going to talk about the data driven framework so we should know why data driven framework right so usually you should go for data driven framework where you have lot of uh, forms in your application like lot of data entry in your applications especially when you talk about the banking project which has lot of data filling uh, any uh, account opening any insurance it has lot of data we need to get from the customer and we need to enter to the applications so those kind of applications you should go for data driven the second is uh, CRM applications where uh, you create lot of invoicing, uh, you create lot of uh, uh, let's say transactional related data uh, where you need to get the informations from the customer. You should go for data driven framework, right? The applications like e-commerce you should not go for data driven. You should go for either hybrid or page object model because it has very less data filling. You have just next, 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 or click, 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 right? So you should not go for data driven. In fact, any uh, health care related applications you should not go for uh, I mean you should go for hybrid in case of healthcare you should go for hybrid because you have a data driven as well as you have a, a normal flow so you should go for hybrid right so those are the examples you should know you should tell in the interview if somebody will ask you right so as a part of data driven the main uh, role of this framework is uh, we keep the data in the external source when I say in the external source, it can be properties file, Excel sheet, it can be XML, it can be database, right? So we can keep the data there and from that uh, data, we run our script, okay, to make sure that a script is working fine with that particular set of data. So here we will take the example of Excel sheet where we'll keep all the data in the Excel sheet and whatever data we'll keep uh, based on that our test should get executed and we should get a result out of it now to do that here if you look at I have created one maven project and I believe you guys know that how to create a maven project if you don't know in my selenium basic video you have the tutorial for how to create a maven project so once you have the maven project created the prerequisite is you make sure that you have jdk 1.8 and maven installed in your system the maven should be installed you should have JDK 1.8 and test ng plugin should be configured in your Eclipse. Three prerequisite. Test ng should be configured in your Eclipse. Maven should be installed. JDK should be installed. Each and every video you can get it from my Selenium basic playlist video. Now once you have everything done and when you create a Maven project, uh, this is the structure of Maven project SRC main Java, SRC test Java and this is called pom.xml. So the SRC main Java, you can write your business logic, uh, generic functions, which you are going to use across the test scripts. And in the SRC test Java, you can write all your test scripts, all your verifications point, which you want to verify against your application. And this pom.xml is nothing but basically, this will give you the facility where uh, you can define the jar file, which is required for your project. Okay. Because when you work for any framework, it requires a lot of jar file to support that project. And the jar file, when you write this dependency, this jar will automatically will get downloaded from the Google. So when you create a Maven project, you will not get these dependencies added in your uh, project. So what you need to do is, since we are going to use Excel sheet, so we need to have the library which will communicate with your Excel sheet, right? So either you can use JXL or you can use Apache POI. So here I'm using Apache POI. It's uh, pretty simple. Uh, you have all uh, inbuilt method given by this library. 
so you, you should just know how to use the method and class of that particular library so here if you look at i'm adding apache poi 3.9 and uh, poi oxml 3.9 this you can easily get it from the google so in google if you just type apache poi uh, dependency if you type here you can get like this apache poi dependency okay so this is not the first link basically this is the first link when you click on here you have couple of this poi dependency this poi oxml so when you click on click on poi you'll get all the re releases which is available i'm using 3.9 so when you click on 3.9 you can see that this dependency which you need to add in your project you can go for the latest one also there is no harm in that now once you have added this dependency in your project what you do is right click go to the maven and click on update project so when you do update project your all dependency will get downloaded and your project will be ready to use now once all the dependency will get downloaded you can see that here the maven dependencies folder which will keep track of all your jar files so which has all the jar files whatever you have downloaded from the google right so as of now i have added only two dependency why because uh, as we will grow with the lesson we will understand what are the remaining dependencies which we need to add because of course we will be using selenium testng log4j extend report and uh, if at all anything else required we will be adding here so we will add step by step so that you know you can correlate how framework design happens right and this is my main java this is my test java which you guys are all here, already familiar in next video i will talk about how to write excel code which will read the data from the excel sheet and which will give you data to you so that you can consume in your test script thank you guys thank you for watching this hope you like this video and this all code will be uploaded and the link will given to the description sections of my video thank you